I know Melkers was having some problems with his. Uh, he had the older one, yeah. the one that you had to like. 60? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But he had the one, yeah, where you had the little tiny CD and you had to put install the drivers, and every time he fucking <laughs> it would uh, update, he'd lose the drivers on it, and he's just like, I can't fucking work with this shit. <laughs> like it's not that hard, man. Just update the drivers. <laughs> just update the drivers, bro. Yeah, the fact that you got to do it every update is kind of sucks it's especially it, yeah. since it's like an unsigned driver yeah so microsoft's like we don't trust this shit it could, it could be dangerous yeah i'm surprised this thing is actually holding it yeah <laughs> i was looking at it when i extended it. i'm like this thing's gonna fucking give any minute here it's like <laughs> all right i think we are do like an hour and a half of outer wilds maybe well, I think that should be plenty, because then that's, like, Outer Wilds was an unexpected addition to the list. Mm-hmm. So, that still gives us time for everything else. All right. Test, test. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Retroactive Gamers. Yeah. We are playing Outer Wilds again. Well, I mean, no. Uh, hello. Yeah, no, this it's is playing new. for the first time. <laughs> we got to delete all our progress. <laughs> again, this is, uh, this is attributed to the Lost Tapes embargo. Hmm. Yes, we started this all out. I guess I have to do all the training over again. Well, Delaware. You win. Press X to wake up. Oh, look. <laughs> you actually can. I know, remember? I did that the first go. <laughs> and you got the achievement died in the first 60 seconds. <laughs> uh, there's our pilot back from pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. Suddenly you're here, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? <laughs> That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch, launch codes, codes from, from Hornfels <laughs> at the <laughs> observatory. Do you have launch <laughs> shots? <laughs> uh, just bringing them here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Once you've said your goodbyes? Mm. No, no. Well, that's right. Why is for that? We can hear people. Me. Yeah. So yeah, uh, up until this point, I've accumulated two days. What is it? 48 hours, a little bit over? Hmm. Of playtime. Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in space today. I'm really excited to see the launch. This is Margaret's house. <laughs> aren't you going to go to space, aren't you? You better have not changed your mind. Uh, Aaron Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, well, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. <laughs> Try to land on the geyser pool. Show me what you got. Okay. You know, uh, on the other side of this town, there's a uh, slightly closed area. It's a graveyard with uh, names of the top backers of their Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, it's flying through the air! <laughs> Crash into someone's building. <laughs> oh. There you go. All right, we did it. Leave. Thanks, bitch! <laughs> Catch a ride! <laughs> uh, who are you, buddy? Your turn for somebody. Oh. Hiya, Hatchling. I hear you leaving us uh, to seek the adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let me, uh, 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 let's you and me and, uh, Gasson. Gasson? Open up a bottle of, uh, the good stuff. <laughs> the good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. <laughs> An iron stomach is a mark of a Drew Hytherian. Hyperion says, Ooh. afterlife. Schmafterlife. Our, uh, uh, too much. <laughs> Our hardy hunter gatherer lifestyle stems from the trial and error, and by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Fair enough. 
All right. Thanks, buddy. Out of Wilds Adventures. <laughs> you want to voice him? <laughs> You're actually blessing <laughs> off into that thing, huh? Well, they don't really explode as often anymore. All I know is between space program and make us model rockets, things seems to be burnt to the ground around here more than they used to. Uh, where are you going? Fuck you. I'm so lonely. Oh no. <laughs> Talk tomorrow. So, it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and this platform ship launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you build a new, less flammable one? <laughs> Big tree in the village should be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Uh, nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. <laughs> what? No, no. I just think that in the way that someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you think that has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? <laughs> that was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta love this game. Well, there's Space Cadet. I hear you leaving the crater today. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind them they owe me money. Oh. <laughs> so take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Just saying hi before I leave. Take care of yourself up there in space, bitch. Hey, what? Hey, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Little piece of shit. Hello, astronaut! <laughs> if it isn't my favorite troublemaker. They wanted to play hot and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use this signal scope? Can we? Can we, please? Sure. Whoa! Okay, here's the rules. Galena and I will hide with these radios, and you'll use the signal scope to find us. Last spot to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, now take his body and run. It's supposed to be delicate. <laughs> 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 Man, gotta get up there. Hang on. I wish there was a run button. Hmm. I see you'll be able to thrust around once you get the jump. I see you over there, bitch! The arm of justice! Oh, you found me! But my heart is not so good. Don't forget, you have to fight both of us, okay? Just walks away. Shut up! <laughs> I see you! <laughs> what? I'm happy! <laughs> Tiny text. Thanks for playing with us! Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> 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 we know <laughs> Ouch. That's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Since you have four eyes, it shows four, uh... Four oofs? Yeah. Satellite camera. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Satellite that's equipped with two onboard cameras. Cool. Thanks. See you, bitch. Hey, buddy. Oh yeah, we need to go to the observatory. Get the keys. Get the launch, bitch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hope the sun doesn't explode before I get there. <laughs> fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass time. Leaving the crater, guess it'll be a little busier without you to lend a hand. Oh, uh, well, big water, big water planet, giant deep. That's where I'd go. I need to find Hornfells. You try observatory? I literally never seen them anywhere. Else. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We never liked you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you crash a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you fuck up your first flight. What's that? I said, Hope you have fun on your first flight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm, zero G cave. <laughs> hey, I, I thought I might see you here, a big launch. <laughs> Nervous getting better for you? 
kid and I'm a natural at this. <laughs> is that so funny? I seem to recall the first time you strapped into the jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. <laughs> so, uh, listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not a piece of uh, broken mining equipment <laughs> set up uh, down there in the zero G cave. It needs uh, repairs. So, listen, there's a satellite. <laughs> well, <it's definitely> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> if you're looking for a little last bit of zero G training, <laughs> down there. Down, uh, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> cool, get it. Couldn't stand that fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like fucking Beavis and Yeah, Butthead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Wasn't Beavis and Butthead be made by the same creators who King of the did? Uh, yeah. Yep, King of the Hill. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> 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 Zero G mode enabled. All of these are technically the tutorials that teach you how to play the game because you can actually repair your own ship. Cool. Oh yeah, just pieces of the duct tape that'll hold. Uh, I like how it has like fucking welding going on, and meanwhile it's just literally here's some duct tape. <laughs> Oh, come on. There we go. It's like, oh, we gotta what? solder this, solder this, solder this. Ah, duct tape. <laughs> not, e not even duct tape, it's just like the dinky project tape. Mm. <laughs> oh, where are we here? There's one inside. I'm going, I'm going. Ooh. Kunk. <laughs> <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> Training simulation complete. Whoa. AR training completed. Oh god. <laughs> Augmented reality training online. Augmented fucky training offline. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's a dude here too. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Duder man. There you go. Uh, I guess I'll be tough. <laughs> no! You met my brother! No! <laughs> Which wins? <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, hey! Oh, <laughs> no, <God>. no. <laughs> hey, hey, nice to see you drop down. Uh, give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? <laughs> Not happening around here lately, let me think. Uh, come to think of it, Tektite saw some crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Is anything Ooh. on fire? Uh, probably only a little. Tektite checked out the crash site and the old Firewatch scout launcher and saw smoke. So he headed over, stamped it out, and there any leftover fires. Well, I better get back to work. The ore's not going to mind itself, you know. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hates him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Hope you break your neck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it actually is possible to fly at such high velocity, you slam it to a wall and break your neck. <laughs> yes. I remember you saying that in our first... I mean, this playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I had it in a dream. You said <laughs> you could do this, and then I dreamed that we did. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Have a nice trip, jackass. <laughs> oh, boy. That's fine. No, it's alright. <laughs> right. Nicely done. Of course, uh, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurling through space. Just remember your training and not to get hit anything big. <laughs> Please end this suffering. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're reaching to get off this rock. So go, launch the co launch codes from observatory. Get out of here already. <laughs> Fuck, stop. <laughs> Best of luck there. And hey, try to avoid hitting, getting yourself killed now. <laughs> I put so much time into training you. Got it? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> Sweet release of death. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. That's so smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use a scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Check. So what's interesting is that the the entire... Like, there's a couple of things about this game. First of all, it doesn't baby you around at all. 
it, it is our job to actually discover the entire story. There's no cutscenes. There's no there's no scripted events. It's just it's just an open world, and it's up to us to piece, piece it together. But because of that, the story can be pieced together from many many different angles. Mm -hmm. It really depends on like every player will get their own kind of personalized delivery of the story. So uh, they recently released a GDC talk, which is the game development conference. Um, the lead writer for this game mm -hmm. talked about how the biggest challenge they had to... Ow. Ouch. Well, there you go, all four of your knees. <laughs> um, the biggest challenge for this game was to write the uh, the game narrative in such a way where it doesn't matter where you start, you can still like piece it together. It's like the biggest problem with a game like this. Mm. The way they actually pulled it off is really interesting. My brother doesn't like it because it's like <laughs> nothing's happening, man. Yo, where's the cutscenes? I want to be babied around. Yeah. The fact that it's like a mystery detective type of game. Oh, Jerry, God, I'm in the observatory. Hi. <laughs> 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 Oh, howdy. This is my favorite astronaut launch day last. Hey, buddy. It's the trans. Oh, God. Don't mind my arm. It disappeared for a second. <laughs> the <laughs> translator's tool is inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it makes me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any no my text you want anywhere, anytime. The two of us put a lot of hours in inventing that tool, so don't you break it, okay? Oh, Jesus. Oh, please don't break it. <laughs> oh, ignore me. Okay. I'm just nervous, even though I'm going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Terrified. Oh, oh, don't make me make you feel nervous. You've been training for days. You were hatchling. Remember, you do great. I promise. Don't die. <laughs> so what's the dirt? You here to see Naomi statue? No, my. Of course. Ha, I knew you'd want to see it before you head off. Horfell just finished prepping for a display today. Ain't it amazing? Uh, makes me wish I could just go see what a real life Naomi looks like. Na Na Naomi. 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 Hmm. No, I don't know who that is. We don't have an affair. Hmm. It's no my. Uh, Naomi. No my. <laughs> I'd pronounce it Naomi. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. Uh, not the fact that I have four eyes. <laughs> well, this is the first falling tax that you ever found. You know what? You know how old it is. This is in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. Get a little carried away. Go on and have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself. Are they here? Okay, bye. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to the additional founding members of the Outer Wild Ventures, without whom we couldn't have gotten off the grounds. Matthew Steinhauser, Bobby. Okay. Uh, 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 Shark Temple. Oh, I think uh, these are credits for the uh, developers. Yep. We don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come okay. on. No. <laughs> um, yeah, well, the Auto Wilds Ventures founding members, Clockwise from top left, Hornfell, Gasson, Slate, and Feltspar. And nice. biggest stickus. <laughs> <laughs> Auto Wilds Ventures. Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hartharian uh, to be intentionally <laughs> intentionally launched into space. <laughs> they completed the first orbit around Timor. Are they Hoth? saying that they launched other <laughs> unintentional <laughs> people? <laughs> <laughs> this remarkably intact statue was curved by now the <laughs> uh, an ancient species uh, who dwelt in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet into Nanomai who appear to have been covered uh, with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as a part of their antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found in almost every planet on the solar system, we still have no idea where the species comes from or what happened to them. Cool. Now well, what man. happened is that the episode has ended. Oh! Thank you everybody so much for watching. Check out our other content at RetractedGamers.com, including the merchandise and minigames. That's right, and check out Artag Rise on Steam. We'll see you all in the next episode, and until then, this is Retroactive Gamers, signing, signing off. off.